After winning all those Grammys for Toto 4, the band had to make a really tough decision, replacing one of their greatest singers in the history of rock and roll, Bobby Kimball. We talk about that and a lot more with David Page. When I heard Fergie, I remember going, he's a, sh it's almost like, I found his voice very sharp, but I, yeah. I, I thought he was a great yeah. singer. Yeah, but, right. And Stranger in Town was a great video. I mean, that yeah, was thanks. just... That was such a great idea. I couldn't believe. And I went, oh my, they're doing the Jesus thing. I'm not religious at all, but I'm going, that is so cool. Yeah, um, yeah. And that was, you know, got a lot of airplay in, in Canada. Uh, how did that happen with Fergie? I know what happened to Bobby. Bobby actually had told me about four years ago and Luke talked about it. Yeah. But um, how did you, how did you find him? Uh, there was a band and I forget the name of the band, but Jeff Percaro knew of a, of a band, uh, a guy singing in a band, it was Fergie, down in New Orleans. Uh, and I can't remember the name of the band, but- I'll, it I'll put it up, in... I'll put it up right there at when, don't worry, I'll-, I'll... Yeah, I'll I'm sure you'll find it, you know. Anyway, we heard the singer and what we were looking for is someone who, who looked good and could sing, and could sing up in that higher area, you know? And we felt that we could mold him to be fit to be a Toto singer, you know what I mean? Because again, because Toto had worked with so many singers, we knew how to conform and uh, chameleonize ourselves into playing different ways, you know. And uh, so uh, uh, I know Bobby had done three or four of the cuts on the Isolation album. He had sang them, sung them, and I and, and and they were good. But we were struggling with him at the time, and uh, there were we were going. To, there were issues which I won't go into, but uh, that uh, uh, we just felt we had to make a change. What's the part of your your recording, your history, that that maybe people forgot about, or you'd want that you're proud of, or that maybe people don't know about? Is there something that we haven't talked about, for instance? Uh, not really. There was just so many records that we played on that weren't released, you know, and sometimes. Uh, 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 working on the, with artists, unknown artists is fun some of the times because there's no pressure, you know? And uh, uh, I think that uh, a lot of records didn't get released. A lot of some of our best performances may or, be, may, or may not be uh, out there right now because of the time moves on and uh, uh, albums, the albums and stuff that we did back in the old days. I don't think they reprint uh, all of them, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, uh, I think most of the good performances are on our uh, on our Toto records. Through the years, did you ever splurge on anything? I know I was talking to Luke. Last time I talked to Luke, I noticed, you know, when he does his interviews, he's, all, he's got his stuff behind him. Yeah, and, right. then, and Steve P told me, he says, I said, well, we tour because we want to keep our stuff. And I like stuff, you know, because look yeah, at right. me, you know, they're all autographed. It's my it's 40 years of radio. But um, had, did you ever splurge and you, do you still have your stuff? Do you, you I got my stuff. My wife just put up all my stuff. I had it. I've had it in closets and on the floor and everything around the house. And Lorraine finally said, we need to get this stuff up off the floor and everything. So now my studio has most of my stuff in it on the walls because I got a, a, a building it has, well, it has a couple of rooms on it. And uh, I have stuff here. That's a, 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 a Wizard of Oz Monopoly game that my brother-in-law gave me because he total reminds him of Wizard of Oz. Yeah. And uh, yes, the, the answer is yes, I have a lot of stuff. And I, came, I, I couldn't not even get it into my house. There's so much stuff. There's an Instagram, an Instagram of Steve Bacara today where it shows him with his modular synthesizers plugging in all these chords. And I just, I just took me right back there with how, how much stuff we used to take on the road. I mean, I used to take my nine foot grand. We used to take modular synthesizers like Keith Emerson had, you know? So it was, uh, we were serious. Wanted to make, wanted to make a serious uh, statement. So you, you've done okay in your life. Did you ever splurge? You ever? Splurge? I splurge all the time. Yeah. You know, I'm uh I'm going to be going to Greece after I get done with Amsterdam on a vacation with my wife, who I've been married to 37 years to. I'm a lucky guy in this business. In this business. It is. It is. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I pretty much have everything a kid could want. I've got the base. Herbie Hancock once said, 
Um, having a recording studio is the best train set a keyboard player could ever have, you know? And I agree with them, you know? It's so much fun when I go in there. I have to not go in there sometimes because I sometimes I go in there and don't come out, you know? So. You know, Peter Beckett told me he's had all the big cars. And then I said, well, what's your, been your favorite? And he says, Dodge Ram. I said, really? Dodge yeah, Ram? Right. He said, I yeah, don't know. He, yeah. says, he says, you change, but for whatever yeah. reason, all around vehicle, I like my Dodge Ram. I'm going, uh, you yeah. might, it might have said Jeep, but I think it was Dodge Ram. Yeah. But I'm going, okay, yeah. sure. <laughs> whatever yeah. gets you. I, I just can't spend big money on a car. I'm not that, I'm not that splurgy person that does that, you know? I buy, I buy gear or recording gear, you know? Yeah microphones shit like that joe told me about his love for miatas i went well that's kind of cool yeah, yeah absolutely forgotten toys is the brand new ep from david page it's a long time coming he spent his whole life working with a whole bunch of musicians we'll have links to the total website where you can pick it up in the description make sure you like our video keep in mind the entire first interview is online right now we'll have a link to it and keep looking back for links to the brand new interview in its entirety We'll be having that up in the next couple of weeks. And there'll be a link in the description. Subscribe to our channel, share our videos, and comment. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.